Hello and welcome to Shamanalai's Art, Life and Chill Corner. This is episode 5 of the series. If you want to start from episode 1, where I talk about the long road to art, click on the description bar below. Today, I am talking about how not to be a starving artist. Do you ever find it a little bit odd how the two words, starving and artist, seem to pair themselves together in the English language? Why aren't there any starving scientists or starving engineers? How about starving doctors? It is probably a silly question to ask because the society we live in value what you can contribute to it. I know for sure that it is a really harsh thing to say, but as I understand it, going down to the bare necessities of needs, people who are valuable usually contribute skills they have to the society. This is why long ago, art is a hobby for the rich. But Shaman, I've spent three years getting a diploma in fine arts and another four years for my BA. What are you saying? Everything is useless? I can never make a living as an artist? No, it's not like that at all. The fact of the matter is that sometimes the market is saturated with people who aspire to do the same things as we do. For example, let's say you love anime style art, kind of like what I'm painting here, and you want to make a living as an anime illustrator. You're all excited for your future, and then suddenly you realize that there are thousands of people who do the same styles as you do, and lots of them are heaps better than you are. Oh crap, what should you do? There is no way to compete with those talented people. I am going to be a real starving artist now. Well, there are three ways I feel that can combat this problem. Number 1. Have a niche. For example, maybe anime style is your specialty, but because so many people can do that style too, you have to go deeper. Maybe you only do anime style in acrylic. Or maybe you only draw anime style sloth in acrylic. Now that's a niche. So whenever you see an anime styled sloth in a particular medium, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's so and so's art. Chances are, you probably don't get so many jobs asking to paint that specific thing. But if people remember you for that, it's like having a staying factor in the endless interwebs of content. Maybe after getting a couple of commissions to paint what you're good at, a new client who likes what you do may want you to paint another thing in the same medium or style. It's all about standing out and not being forgotten in the sea of art. Number 2. Don't wait for that perfect art job. If you have just graduated, and you come from a family who can't really support you through college, you probably might have some student loans due soon. Maybe what you want it to be is an environment artist for a famous games company, but all you are offered is to be a user interface designer in an indie games company because you're better at that than creating worlds. Or maybe there are no big companies where you live. That is okay. Take what you can get and run with it. Who knows, after a few years, you have improved tremendously on designing environments and you can get a gig with what you prefer. Finally, number 3. Make art your hobby until you get good to make it your business. I am at this stage right now. Some people studied art but don't end up being artists. That doesn't mean that they are failures. In life, for the most part, you can choose what you want to be. There are many people I know who can create wonderful paintings, but choose not to do art as a profession. Sometimes it can be a financial thing, they need to make money for the family and a high paying job helps with life. Other times, people just hate bad art jobs. Maybe you would rather be working at IKEA or Starbucks and then save your creative mental energy for your personal work at home. Whatever the ways you choose, just remember that you don't have to be a starving artist. 
if you are staying at home, improving on your portfolio, and your family members can help support your living expenses in the meantime, count your blessings, and work your tails off till you find some sort of success. Don't get yourself further in debt because of loans. If you need to make money, go out there and get a job to make ends meet. Just keep swimming. For those starting out in your careers, I wish you the best of luck. Always have faith in what you do. Comment below on topics you would like me to discuss. If you liked this video, please subscribe to Totally Legit Science. Thanks for watching. See you next time.